If you live in North County, you may have seen some social media posts recently showing pictures of a serval roaming through neighborhoods there. Servals are wild cats that resemble small leopards. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on these sightings and what's being done to help locate him. This is a type of animal you would normally see at a zoo, not in a neighborhood. We're in the backyard of an Olivenhine home, and this is one of the last places it was spotted. And while the cat has yet to be found, there's an entire community looking for it. I mean, your first instinct is, is that a leopard? That was Christy Clark's reaction after realizing the animal spotted in her Olivenhine backyard last week was a serval. None of us knew what it was at the time. It was Friday afternoon. She was outside with her daughter and grandkids when her daughter's jaw got spooked near some bushes. Then they heard something in the tree above. Soon after, her neighbor, who she shares a fence with, sent her this picture. We didn't think anything about it. And about an hour and a half later, Trevor and Cindy sent me a photo and said, look, what got one of our chickens today. The serval has since come back three more times. Christy posted about it on next door. Soon others started sharing their sightings throughout other parts of Olivenhine and Encinitas. Usually I don't pay attention to most of the posts, but the serval caught my eye. Bruce Ireland knows very little about cats, but he does relocate snakes from properties and used to be a sheriff's search and rescue deputy. Using that experience, he offered to help. I said I'll do whatever I can to try to find this cat because it certainly doesn't belong in nature. Bruce has been piecing together a timeline of these servals whereabouts. He's also been in contact with Project Wildlife as well as Fish and Game. Though he hasn't done so yet, he says they've given him permission to set a trap. Still, he cautions others to keep their distance, not knowing how it will react. It's big, it's probably two feet tall, it's probably somewhere between 30 and 45 pounds. As for where the serval came from, his name is Pharaoh, and he reportedly escaped from a home in Harmony Grove back on August 7th. As soon as he went missing, we were looking for him all over. Emily Schultz says Florida her husband area. and his mom bought the cat four years ago from a breeder in Mississippi, thinking it was an F1 Savannah hybrid of a serval and a domesticated cat. Servals are a legal tone in California. His mom has since died, and they've been caring for Pharaoh ever since. Though desperate to get him back, Emily knows there's a chance, if found and proven to be a full serval, he may be relocated someplace else. We're trying to find him regardless. I'd rather be safe somewhere else than to be out there alone. Now, besides contacting Bruce Ireland, there are other agencies that are willing to help out. We have a list in their contact information on our website. Just go to CBS8.com and click on this story.